Hello guys, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. Um, I'm actually currently update or uploading the last episode, and I just couldn't keep my hands off this game. So I'm gonna just continue playing it while I upload my last video, so yeah. Um, I am chewing a piece of gum right now, and if that's annoying, I'm very sorry. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I've noticed I, I do get some dislikes on these videos, and I understand that. But, um, honestly, if you're just here for RuneScape videos, you might want to unsubscribe for a while, because I'm going to be playing this a lot, because this is really freaking fun. And, honestly, why are you watching YouTube? To have fun. Why am I making YouTube videos? To have fun. So, that's all there is to it. Yes, we are traveling. Well, we're not together, you know. I mean, we're kind of... It's complicated, alright? Just leave it at that. It's complicated. Alright, well, uh, let's, uh, let's take on this gym. I said I was going to take on this gym last episode, and I don't know why I'm even checking my Pokemon, but, uh, yeah. Let's just do it. The more random stuff I do, the less grinding I'll ever have to do later. Good luck battling, okay. Yeah, so we, alright, we have to actually have to go on the side. Alright, Tom, you can cheer for me, I guess. Go we'll face four, four trainers. Well, that's fair. I mean, I guess when they have really horrible Pokemon, uh, they might as well. Like taking on some grass type Pokemon. Sure, let's do it. Hopefully, grass and poison. That'd be nice. Throw out an Oddish. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have much commentary for this because these guys, they kind of suck. It's a Haunt Sun. Sun Crew. Fusion. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, these first few episodes might actually be kind of boring, just because... I mean, it's the beginning of the game, it's gotta be easy. Obviously. But, uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys can understand why I'm doing these up or why I'm doing this as a Let's Play. Because I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I was not having a lot of fun grinding on RuneScape at the time. Like I said, I'll get back into RuneScape again at some point, I'm sure you always do. I was, I was talking to somebody on, in the comments section on a couple videos ago. We were just talking, and uh, obviously you, you get back into RuneScape eventually. But um, right now I'm just having fun playing other games. Uh, I'm also, I also make music, or write music a bit, so. You know, I've just been focusing my time on different stuff, so it's not like I'm gonna... It's not like this is gonna just become a Pokemon channel or anything. It's just gonna be uh, Pokemon focused. I mean, I've always been. I've had. I have quite a few Pokemon videos on here still. So, um, if the audience could maybe just like split, just like half the people only watch the RuneScape videos, half the people only watch the uh, Pokemon videos, it'd be nice. But uh, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. I, this this will be the last video that I keep apologizing or trying to explain myself. Wait, call it quits? No. No, I'm ready. God dang it. This is why you read the dialogue first. Yes, I am in the mood for battling. It's been it's been a while. Do you do your Pokemon get restored between No, they don't. What losers. Just gang up on me and just try to wear me down. With like four trainers in a row. Wow. Look at this chick, jeez. It's pretty inappropriate for a Nintendo game. I mean, look at those. She's wearing like a freaking miniskirt right there. I don't even think she has underwear on. And she sends out this. All of this. Let's, uh, let's kill the Meryl. Meryl knows what he's knows what he's doing. Again, I don't I don't know. Wow, that thing is thick. It's fat. And uh I don't like that. It's really brutal, man. It just like goes flying like a hundred feet in the air. Agility. Oh no. Poor Meryl. Doesn't even stand a chance. Bubble. That's 
pretty impressive damage right there. Yeah, I don't know what to talk about. I've talked about everything that I've uh, felt like talking about during the animations, like during the boring fights. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'll probably just be rambling, because that's what I do. Um, I, I have no subjects to talk about right now. But yeah, again, like seriously, um, I don't, I don't need you guys like staying here and disliking my videos if you uh, don't like Pokemon stuff. If you don't like Pokemon stuff, just unsubscribe. Like seriously, that's, that's pretty much what I'm trying to get at with this train of thought is. I, I don't need a bunch of dislikes on my videos, because they're not going to change. I'm I'm going to keep doing Pokemon, because it's what I'm having fun with at the moment. Like I said, I'm a gamer. I'm not a scaper. I, uh, RuneScape was my obsession for quite a while there, and now I'm back to other games, and it's just, that's how I, that's who I am. I've been playing games since I was five, so. Um, now that I have this emulator, I might just start playing a bunch of old games, even. Like, I could emulate some N64 games, get some, uh, old PS2 games or something like that, and I'll play some Crash Bandicoot. That'd be fantastic. But, uh, yeah, that, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea for the direction of the channel. Um, just because there aren't very many modern games that I play all the time. And most modern games I already have played, like, it fairly recently. Like, if I went back and played Bioshock, it's like I played that, like, last year. And, uh, it would feel a little too fresh, it would feel more like a walkthrough than actually a regular playthrough, so... You know, I might just do some old retro games or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Oh man, the damage! It's intense. Also, I guess for those of you who watch Pokemon and maybe don't understand what's going on too much, um... Like, leave a comment, like, if you have questions about Pokemon or something, just, like, let me know. I'm happy to introduce you to the world of Pokemon. Or I could maybe just make a video explaining the basics or something. Um, just, I don't know. Because a lot of people, they would like it if they actually tried it, but, um, they don't know what's going on. It's hard to get into. I completely understand that. Like, when I, when somebody posts something like Hearthstone on their channel so that I don't know what's going on. I don't tend to want to watch it, but maybe if I learned about it, I would want to want to watch it. Because yeah, I want you guys to be happy and all, but I also want me to be happy. So I'm all confused and alone. And I, I just I don't even know what's going on anymore. And we just defeated this guy. I'm gonna go heal probably. And it is incredibly hot in my room. I'm not enjoying this. Not enjoying it at all. Nope, I'm not gonna keep chugging. So, yeah, all this stuff is optional, actually. But you know, I feel I, I haven't played this game in a while. I'm gonna take my time, just enjoy this game. And uh, I, so far, I have been enjoying it. Like I said in the description of my last video that is uploading right now, uh, this is the most fun I've had recording in a while. Just because it's a game that I really like to play. There's no pressure. I'm not. I don't have to sit there and grind forever and hope that, or like you know, boss forever and hope that I get a drop so I can get a two-minute clip. Not even two minutes, like a thirty-second clip. And it, it was at the point where I could make a RuneScape video maybe once a week like with the progress I was making. That's kind of my motivation for switching over here to Pokemon stuff because I can just jump into a Pokemon game. And I can record a session, and I can get a video out a day, easily, no problem. Um, I could probably even get two videos a day. Like, get a competitive a day, and a let's play a day. Or something like that. So. Plus there's also a trading card game, I can do randomizer stuff. I mean, this... Uh, Pokemon Center channel, I think, is definitely a possibility in the future. So, I don't know. Um, I might just be catching the fever the remakes are coming out, but in general, I'm, I've been enjoying Pokemon a lot lately, so. 
this is like the episode of the explanation. That's what this episode is. But, uh, yeah. What's interesting, this emulator probably runs better than the, like, Nintendo DS emulator. Which is really strange. I don't understand why. But, uh, yeah. Let's just take out this Geo, dude. Oh, one shot. Man. The power of Espeon destroys you. <clears throat> but, yeah, if you guys have watched this far, just like, comment below. Uh, kind of how you guys feel. I want to know how you feel. I'm kind of in the dark on how you guys feel. I get, I don't get much feedback, so. If you guys actually, uh, have any sort of useful feedback, just throw it in the comment section. It'd be nice. Should be a great battle. Deserves a gift. White herb. I don't want that. When I have six Pokemon, that's when I converse him. Okay, so. We're done with the gym, for now. And, um... Let's go... To the Coliseum, I guess. That's where we were supposed to go for the actual story. Yeah. What do you have to say? Do you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't it amazing? Do you know? No. Oh, the hideout was blown up. Yeah, I saw that on the news. Anybody who's anybody knows about that. Oh, well, the current challenge has already started. Okay. Fine. Make me walk all the way over here, and then it's just already started. Wow. Uh-oh. These guys look really... They look like clones, actually. Oh. Found you, you dirty traitor. Wrecking the hideout wasn't enough. You also gotta steal our crap? Come on, man. Who are these people? Are they team snag them? What do they mean by traitor? Wait. Dun-dun-dun. Yeah, he's from Team Snagum, just like us. He's a snagger. He's the best at Team Snagum. He's just the best person at stealing Pokemon. That ain't true. You gritted your teeth, didn't you? No, I didn't. Nope, it's not true. I, I swear. Snag machine. No, it's mine. Man. No. I can steal people's Pokemon. I don't get why I can only steal Shadow Pokemon. I would like it if I could just steal all of their Pokemon, since they're thugs, you know. But, uh, I guess reverse and waken. Whacken. Waken. He's whacken. Heh. <laughs> whacken. I don't know why that's funny. But it is. I'll tell you that much. Let's go Umbreon and... Best starters ever, I swear. I want that fusion that. It's nice coming back to this game. Because a lot of the moves that I thought were completely useless, like taunt when I was like twelve, I was like, Taunt, it makes it so they can't or so that they can only attack you. Why am I playing? But uh now that I come back and actually know a lot more about the game. It's, it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more interesting. And you guys probably have no idea what what I'm doing or what's going on. Be on your frail as can be. Oh, that damage. Jesus. I promise, this game gets harder. I promise. You're not good enough. Well, obviously not. You didn't even evolve your core fish. Let's give it a couple of levels. It'll be. If you had a crawl on there, I would have lost. Dark type. Blast you. Can you get the snag machine back? I don't think so. Yep, I'm from Team Snagum. Former Team Snagum. You're my gallant prince who rescued me. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get some later on. I know it. Yeah, alright. Let's go get some Pokeballs. Alright. Fantastic. But, uh, yeah, this game does have some weird game design. Like, you kinda gotta know what to do in what order. Because, like, here can't just go to the place that sells Pokeballs, you gotta go talk to one person in the mart, and then they tell you to go somewhere else, and it's it's typical old game design, but, uh, I don't know. 
I, I just, I don't even know. Oh well. I wonder if that upload is finished yet. Right, yes, progress has been saved. I know I said I was going to get rid of that, but I kind of like having it there just to make sure that it confirmed that it's actually saving. I think I can quick save, too. I'll try right now. Shift F1. Yep, saving state. So if I hit F1... Alright, yeah, so I can. I can quick save. If I really want to, but I don't think I'm going to. I kind of want to play it just like it's an old GameCube game. Unless I'm like in the middle of something really long and I have to end an episode, then I'll do a save state. Bye. I forget. I think you actually have to go upstairs and talk to this guy. See, that's what I meant about the game design. It's really weird. Um, yeah, I think there's someone in here that you have to talk about, talk to about Pokeball. It's really weird. I, I don't remember exactly who it is. No one sells Pokeballs around here. To, so, I think that's the guy I had to talk to. I know where they sell them at. But it's kind of weird. I guess you guys could kind of look at this as a walkthrough of the game, I guess, because I know what to do for the most part. It's just been a long, 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 long time. Let's go to the uh, outskirts stand. Let's go buy some Pokeballs. Let's go steal some people's Pokemon. You want a rematch, man? Ah, uh, I want a rematch, man. I'm saying man a lot, I just realized that. Sorry, man. We need to stock up on supplies. Can't sell any Pokeballs. Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even know we had them. Oh, well, I can sell them. It'd be nice if you could just give me all of them for free. It's buying them. Uh, he does sell great balls, though, so that's pretty good. Um, I think I am going to use... There's a glitch where you can pretty much have infinite, infinite Pokeballs. I think I'm going to use that glitch. Just because this game is so absurdly hard. That uh, I kind of feel like I probably should. So, uh, yeah. I like this music. This game is. I, I've, I think I've said it before. This game is the best music of any Pokemon game. Probably because it's not, like, 16 bit stuff. Oh, something terrible is happening. A lot of scary men came here. Oh, no. Not scary men. Those are the worst type of men. That didn't come out right. So I think I gotta go over here, if I remember correctly. This is where they are. Yeah. Man, that afro goes off the screen. <laughs> oh, the character models in this game cracked me up. Darling, you say your name was Wav or something. I don't like saying this, but we're not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. Looks like you'd be in the Saints. You know, Saints Row? You'd fit in. You'd fit in. <clears throat> a sweet young thing. She can see things that ordinary people ain't supposed to see. That just will not do for what we're planning to do. No, I won't do it all. If you don't like pain, like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places they shouldn't be. Boys, oh boys. Alright, anyway. Um, <laughs> I guess that's his voice. He's just a, uh, he's a pimp. He kind of looks like a pimp. Ridiculous pimp. Hmm. That music. I wish I could get that for the background of my uh, Vietnamese crystal videos. That'd be fantastic. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna beat me this time, or no? You didn't even change your team around, man. You're stealing Pokemon from people, and you can't even get. These are the ones that you stole. It's like that one episode of Pokemon where Ash catches a Caterpie and he's so happy. It's like, dude, it's a Caterpie, man. Chill out. I just said man again. I'm sorry. Right, I think this guy actually has a Shadow Pokemon. I don't remember. But yeah, if you didn't know, in this game, Shadow Pokemon are like ones that have been turned evil, I guess would be the way to describe it. And you can only use them... Or, those are the only ones you can catch. So, it's either this guy or the next one. Or is it? Ow. It's 
super effective. But, uh, yeah, so this game is, that's where it is really interesting. That's why it's so hard, because you only get one chance to catch each Pokemon. And if you get a critical hit and kill them, or they have moves that do recoil damage to themselves. So, if they kill themselves or you kill them, then you have a really tough time. Alright, I think this is the guy with the Shadow Pokemon. And I think I'm gonna try to catch it. The skull is terrifying looking in this game. Jeez. I think I'm gonna be all strategic about this. And I'll just kill the Dusk Golf first. I think it's bulky too. Yeah, I love the animations. I love how this game looks just in general. It's really good. 2005 or whatever. This feeling I'm about to get interrupted again. Cause I hear people coming up the stairs. I really hope not, because that makes uh makes the game take forever. Ow, it's punch my face. I'll just have to steal it then. Well the damage is real. Okay, so let's go with secret power on that. And kill the spinner rack. There we go. Now, these things are actually pretty dangerous, so I'm gonna have to be careful about this. But I have unlimited great balls essentially, so I should be good. Critical hit. See, that's what I'm telling you about, man. Hit critical hits. Why not? Alright, I think. Oh, he gets a critical hit. Jesus. Please don't. Alright. That. That's pretty intense damage right there. Um. I'm actually going to go ahead and do the glitch, which, if you don't know, you just you hit use a great ball, and then when you come here, you just switch the slot, and then do whatever you want. Oops, dang it. Alright, so, great ball. Use. Switch. Okay. So that should be it. Um, I'm just going to go for reflect. It might actually end up killing my SBI. I don't know. I should be able to catch it. Hopefully. Be nice. Having a nice fighting type on my team. Yeah. Uh, they do, I think, make the catch rates a little lower. Like, so you can catch them a lot easier. I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> stole your Pokemon. Jerk. <laughs> yeah, you got flattened. I'll bet you he's gonna chew you out. Whatever that means. Yeah. Thanks for the support, Tom. Thanks a lot, Tom. Alright. So, the bad thing is you can't see what the natures are of these Pokemon that you catch. But, um, hopefully, hopefully it's good. So we now have our fighting type. Which, that'll be good. I've actually been playing tons of Nuzlocks, which essentially means if your Pokemon faints, it counts as dying. So it's going to be difficult for me to not overreact to Pokemon fainting, because I'm used to them actually dying. Yes, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Okay, just... Nope. I just... I, I just... I just want to do this. Okay. So now you get to essentially choose your starter, um, which is the three people at the gates, depending on their colors, that's what they're, that's what Pokemon they have. So, I think I'm gonna go with Typhlosion, because fire types that are actually good are very scarce in this game. And, uh, I can get a Quagsire later on, which, those things are just great. Is it this guy? I think it's the fire guy, yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use a save state thing. 
so that if I do end up failing to catch it, I can just reload here. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you, man. Don't worry. Oh, this music. Lava's so thin. I'm warm for your form, Lava. Quill. Quill. Lava. I can, I can speak English, I swear. Alright, Yuri. Tom. Hey, Tom. Um, I think I'm gonna bite it and confuse that. Should kill it. Yep. Lava can just die. That would be nice. Or not die. Don't die. Oh, it knows dig. Forgot about that. That's really weird. Alright, spoink. I think I'm just gonna go for reflect so it doesn't do as much damage. Yeah, these things start with pretty good moves, actually. Not an Espeon? Come on. Come on, man. Chill out. Oh, Spoink flinched. That is good stuff right there. Let's get rid of the stupid Spoink. And... Yeah. I, I don't have much commentary for this. It knows smoke screen. You would know smoke screen, man. You would. You stupid piece of garbage. All right. Well, that does absolutely nothing. So I think I can go with one more. And I really don't want to attack it. I might just throw a pokeball at it. Yeah, I'll just throw a Pokeball at it and see if I can manage to catch it somehow. It'd be nice. Not wasting any time. Here I go again. It's a, it's a song. Get that reference. You're awesome. Smokescreen. I thank you for using it on Espeon at least. If you don't know, that lowers your accuracy, so you miss everything. That's not fun. I don't like missing everything. Some things, it's alright to miss, but these things, not so much. Um, the bad thing about this glitch is you have to throw it with this Pokemon, so Espeon, I think, would take it out with anything, so. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go for something else so that it doesn't. If I don't catch it this time, then I'll probably lower it a little bit more. Two, three. Yeah. Alright, got it. Fantastic. Been saying fantastic a lot, too. Rosso. I have this feeling. I have this feeling that the people who were translating this game didn't know anything about names that we Americans use. So all, Tom has been the only normal name so far. Closing the door to its heart. I don't know what that even means, but that's interesting. If any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can be gradually reopened by battling with it. Oh, well, isn't that just sweet? But, uh, yeah, this, this thing, uh, it's not too great. Oh, so it's heart closed even more. It was opened for that guy. Maybe I'm the evil one. Wow. That's pretty... It's pretty deep. I don't even remember where I was going. I think I have to go to the uh, one town. Yeah, this next town is around where the difficulty spike really kicks in. Because there's tons of Pokemon that are really high level, like level 30s and stuff. Which is kind of... kind of scary. And real unprofessional, like, I'm gonna see how long I've been recording. I really need to just come up with something. Oh, for a second I thought I hadn't been recording at all. Alright, 30 minutes, wow. That 
flew by. That absolutely flew by. So, I am actually going to go ahead and end the episode here. I did not notice that I've been recording for 30 minutes, so. Um, we got another, we got two Pokemon, two new Pokemon, so that's great. Uh, next, we're going to be going into the hood, which is just the town to the west. And, uh, there's a lot of thugs there, and it's going to be pretty pretty terrifying and uh hopefully we'll get some more pokemon to add to our party so hopefully you guys are enjoying and uh yeah peace out sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it <laughs>